the laparoscopic instruments are very difficult to clean and dis- disinfect it is because of the presence of many lumens and channels into the laparoscopic instruments moreover they have very complex geometries and it has spaces and crevices where the cleaning instrument and chemicals cannot reach so there is good chance of organic matter lodging into those spaces and lumens before the laparoscopic instruments are actually taken for disinfection or sterilization it is important to first pre-clean the laparoscopic instrument the process of pre-cleaning means the removing all the organic debris and organic matter like blood or mucus or any other organic component attached to the surface or the lumen of laparoscopic instruments the pre-cleaning process basically involves cleaning the laparoscopic instrument with the water followed by soaking the laparoscopic instruments in an enzymatic solution there are multiple multi enzyme cleaning solutions available in the market for cleaning of these kind of instruments we recommend aslock 4 multi enzyme cleaner for this job if you are regularly cleaning the laparoscopic instrument and you want to clean the laparoscopic instrument routinely 1% lap- 1% dilution of aslock 4 solution is required to make 1% diluted solution of aslock 4 you have to add 10 ml of aslock 4 solution in 1 liter of the water then you allow the laparoscopic instruments to be soaked into this solution for 10 minutes it is always advisable that you unassemble the instrument as much as possible after soaking the instrument for 10 minutes you are advised to clean the the parts with the help of brush or a soft cloth if it is available or if you could see the visible deposits or organic matter on the instrument surface or in the lumen laparoscopic instruments can also be cleaned with the help of nylon brushes available specifically for its need all instruments those are pre cleaned with the help of any multi enzyme cleaner must be thoroughly rinsed and dried so the rinsing is done with tap water or or any other clean water that is available preferably it should be warm the all the instruments must be cleaned with the running water and all the lumens and pores should be flushed with the water the purpose of rinsing is to remove all the organic matter or any ad- other debris that is stuck inside the lumen or on the surface of the instrument the rinsing also helps in the removal of the residual um, residual multi enzyme cleaner on the instrument or on the surface or in the lumen which may later cause problems in the patient rinsing is also helpful in preventing the recontamination of the instruments when the instrument is taken for disinfection or sterilization once the complete rinsing is done all instruments must be dried thoroughly it is advisable if you could dry them with the help of an air dryer but if that is not possible you can at least wipe them dry with the help of a cloth or and place them in open air for some time for complete drying drying helps in removing all the water and other components and multi enzyme cleaner from the instrument and it makes the process of subsequent disinfection and sterilization effective once the cleaning and drying of the instrument is done now it is time to disinfect it with the help of glutaryl di 2.45% solution it comes with an activator the glutaryl dihyde with an activator is better than one which doesn't comes with an activator those are the following reasons number 1 it helps 
in improving the effectiveness of the disinfectant by enhancing its bactericidal and virucidal properties. Secondly, the activator also helps in increasing the penetration and effectiveness of disinfectant by breaking down the walls and denaturing the protein, thereby increasing the efficacy of disinfection process. And most important of all, the activator helps in reducing the total time that is required for disinfection and sterilization. We recommend SLOC G, LUTRLDI 2.45% solution, which comes with an activator. The links for the product is given in the description of the video. So you are requested to kindly check it. The instrument should be allowed to be soaked into the activated glutaraldi 2.45% solution of SLOG G for at least 20 minutes for disinfection. The instruments after it has been in the solution for 20 minutes should be removed and cleaned with sterile water to remove the, the glutaraldehyde from the surface and the lumens. All the lumens should be flushed with water to remove the disinfectant from it. In case you want to sterilize the laparoscopic instrument, the instrument should be allowed to stay into the activated solution of glutaraldehyde 2.45% for at least 10 hours, which means you should allow to stay it in the solution for at least overnight. After the sterilization process is complete, again, the instrument must be cleaned and flushed with the sterile water. As the dilution concentration and the contact time for disinfection and sterilization may differ from one brand to another, so you must check the details with the manufacturer of the glutaraldehyde 45% solution. Once the disinfection or the sterilization process is complete and the instruments are clean with the water, all the instruments must be thoroughly dried using either a cotton cloth or the air dryer method. Of course, the air drying method is a preferred technique once the drying is complete, all the instruments must be packed in the water-based pouch, a paper-based pouch available for packing the surgical material. Those help into storing the instruments for the later use. Hope you liked the video. Feel free to share your views on this issue in the comment section. Check the description for similar videos and product links.